This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Welcome to Sunday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today we're creating a very small shooter with a few ingredients. This is called the Grape Shot Bomber. I was searching for something completely unrelated. I saw this. I had all the ingredients. It looked pretty neat. So you said, what the heck? Yep. It was on barnondrinks.com. It was the other drink we did this week that was from there. I found this one at the same time. So, little shooter. We're going to do a half ounce of Midori, half ounce of Blue Curacao. The rest of these ingredients are all a quarter of an ounce. So they should fit in a shot glass. I don't know. They should. So what you could do is if you're not sure, like I'm about to do, is I'm just going to build them right here and then strain it in there. That way I can get a nice controlled amount of crazy. All right. Where's my, what is this? We got dark rum. I'm using a black seal today. So this is a quarter ounce. Mmm, black seal. Just line these up so I don't lose them. Our half ounce of Midori. Lose them. Lose which ones I've done, rather. Yeah, they're not gonna, well, they could get lost. It'd be easier if I just threw them in that back there. If I want something to really get lost. Blue Curacao, half ounce. If you had followed the recipe, then you'd know which one you used. But you, mean you if just I, like to go haphazard all over the place. If I wanted to go halfway or halfway, you said that. Slow gin. Did I say slow gin? Yes. I don't even say... Did I, I didn't list off what they are. I've got dark rum, Midori, blue curacao, southern comfort, brandy, and slow gin. Half ounce. Nope. Slow gin. Quarter ounce. Bright. All right, let's put some brandy in there. What do we got here? ENJ VSOP Superior Reserve. Fancy name for a $9 bottle of brandy if I didn't know anything. Boom. And 100 proof Southern Comfort. Can't leave home without it. I do all the time. It's true. So do I. Because if you leave home with it, you'll get arrested. You get arrested. All right, I'm gonna toss a little piece of ice in here. Come here, you little piece of ice. You could have one of those flasks hidden in your pocket though. I could. A flat, no, that's bad. We don't do that. Okay. There you go. Dark. Super dark. Yeah, now that's dark. But the added brain. Oh no, there's still some amber in there. If you put it up to a bright light, that's really hot. You get it looks like a very an amber ale, a dark amber ale. If you don't know what that is, think of amber only dark. It smells or a little like grape, huh? Or grape. Or grape. It has like that grape smell to it. Got some potency. I'm gonna blame that on our hunter proofer. That's the bomber part. It's the bomber. It's hitting your face like a bomb. Not necessarily saying grape per se. Fruity, no doubt. Numbing. I can't really say I pick up all the. There's a little bit of uh, brown sugar, but I can't pick up. Maybe a little slow gin. I'm not getting a lot of uh, Midori flavor, but it, there's just so much going on in here. There is a little bit of hint of citrus, but it was a lot, a lot hitting your face at one time. Tasty. It's a neat shot, especially if you want to impress somebody with just the sheer amount of ingredients that go into it. Uh, if you have them all, it's worth tasting to really get the flavors of just all the fruits attacking your face at one time. It's like a fruit punch, but like instead of but like a fruit punch in the jaw. Huh? <laughs> Everydaydrinkers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink.